In this video, we'll show you everything you need to know to be able to create thumb stopping videos right on your smartphone using InVideo's free Filmer app. Now, don't worry if you're completely new to Filmer or video editing in general because this is a beginner's tutorial that will cover all of the features of the Filmer app and show you how to edit a video from start to finish in 8 easy steps. This is Aditi with InVideo. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's download and sign into the Filmer app. You can download the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using my Filmer Pro account on an iPhone. But the same steps can also be followed on an Android app. Once downloaded, you can sign in using the same credentials as your InVideo account. And if you have a paid plan with InVideo, that will automatically give you access to Filmer's Pro plan, which will unlock a host of additional filters and effects that are only available to Pro users. If you don't have an InVideo account, you can always create a new account too, for free, and use all of the editing features on your free plan, except for some of the effects, text styles, and transitions that are only available to Pro users. If later on you feel like you need some of these features, you can always upgrade for as low as $2 per week. Now, once you've signed in, you will see two options to import footage. You can either click on camera to shoot footage on the Filmer app itself, or you can import it from your phone's gallery. If you shoot on the app itself, you can shoot in slow motion, fast speed, or even loop it if needed. Once you import all of your clips into the Filmer app, you will see that the editor will open up with all of the clips stacked one above the other on a vertical timeline. This is actually one of the coolest features about this app. It's one of the only apps to have a vertical timeline built for a mobile phone screen, as opposed to horizontal timelines on other apps that are better suited for desktop. You can also drag and reorder them so that they play in the correct order. You can also click on the video icon at the bottom if you want to add more clips. And that takes care of our first step, which is to get all of the media we want onto the app and get it in the order we want. Now, let's look at the second step, which is to select the right format. You will be able to set the orientation for your video depending on the platform that you want to publish your video on. And once you select the same, you will see that your main edit canvas will change to that format. And if you have any clips that are not in the same format, you will see these black bars added to them. You can use the crop function on the screen to zoom into each clip and make sure they're optimized for the platform that you're going to post these on. And you can also leave the black bars as is for a particular clip if you want to include the entire clip without cropping it in any way. Now that all of our clips are in the right order and duration, let's fine tune our clips and lock in our visuals. You can also access a host of other editing features by clicking on the three dots next to each clip. From here, you can copy a clip and make a duplicate of the clip to use it more than once in the project. You can also make the clip fast or slow with the speed option. It also has other options like rotate, split, and delete. This brings us to add transitions between your clips and also control the duration of those transitions. Now, I'm on the pro plan, which is why I have access to all of the transitions. But even if you're on the free plan, most of the common transitions like dissolve, flashlight, pixelate, strobe light, and more will also be available for you. Now that all of our clips are logged in and ready to go, let's get to doing the same with our audio. You can record your voiceover here for certain parts of your video. You can also add a background music track. To do that, you can select a file that is downloaded on your phone, or you can buy it on iTunes if you're using Filmer on an iPhone like me. Or you can also use the stock music library that comes with the app that you can see under the Filmer tab. Now, if you're planning on using these videos professionally for your brand or business or on YouTube, then it's recommended that you either only use licensed audio from your files or you buy a subscription to a royalty-free music library like Epidemic Sound. Most of the times, videos are incomplete without text. So this brings us to our second last step, which is adding text to your videos. You can tap on the screen and it will let you type out the text which you want to add to your video. You can also choose from a variety of fonts and colors from the options available. And our last and final step will be to export this video. You can save it locally or directly publish it to any of your social media platforms. It covers most of your social media uploading options like IGTV, Reels, Stories, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You can also download this video as a GIF. However, to upload directly to other platforms, you need a pro subscription. If you don't have a pro subscription, you can save the video to your phone first and then upload it to your social media platforms. It lets you decide your resolution too. 
Here, I will select 1080p because that's my preferred resolution, but you can select any, even 4K. And with that, you now know how to create thumb-stopping videos for your brands within minutes using just your phone, even if you've never edited a video before. This is Aditi with InVideo and I will see you in the next one.